Good afternoon, everybody. How's things? It's a little bit. It's warm here in Scunthorpe, but we've had a bit of rain, so not quite sure what it's doing today. But, uh, we're, uh, I think, we're warm because we're still busy packing. Uh, we've got a few out today, so that's that's really good news. And uh, same amount tomorrow, so hopefully you'll uh, have all your parcels and things soon. It's exciting stuff. Leslie's actually still packing. I've left her downstairs with Tommy, so she'll be busy. But nice to have everybody else here. Are we ready for this one? Okay, what do we have? Um, I've got um, a brown tile from the Earth Collection, number 263 today. I've not done any inking on this, so I'm going to go in with it plain. I've got my pen pencil torty on, as per usual. I do have some coloured pencils, and I've got um, my gel pen as well. I've actually got my uh, sort of gold, rosy gold kind of colour. Yeah, oh, that's a rose gold. I might use both of them, actually. I've got a bit of gold and a bit of... There you go. So we'll see how we get on. I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to use them yet, but you know, you never know, do you? You never know. So I'm going to start with a pen today and I'm going to go straight in. But it's entirely up to you. If you think you're happier going in, starting with a pencil, please don't feel that you've got to go in with pen and, and start that straight away. It's fine. OK, so here we go then. I'm going to sort of start in, in this sort of area here, I think, and I'm going to create this sort of curl. So I'm going to start about the middle and I'm going to come up and round. So you might want to sort of use your hands just to start with. There's a bit of a pretend so you can see where it's heading. And then you get a clear, confident stroke as you go round. Okay, deep breath. You've got this. <laughs> All right. I'm going to come back in here. This one seconds go in a bit. There we go. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to bring it round a little bit. Not right to the, the bottom, but you see it sort of naturally wants to come to an end. So there it is. That's our first little curl. Okay, next one then. I'm going to go slightly further up here, just uh, getting that in. Um, let's have a look. I might just actually not even start at the same point, I might give it a little bit of a gap. So I'm going to come up and round. See a nice confident stroke there. There you are. And then back around and again follow it until it comes to its natural place, joining that first line. There you go. All right. Oh, Carol, we're going to have to see what's uh, what's over when we finish packing as to what stock we've got. But we'll be definitely putting something on there. So um, hang in, <laughs> hang in there a little bit. OK. All right. So far, so good. That's not too bad, is it? I'm going to put some little um, oil on the end here. Just so it looks finished. There you go. OK. Next little bit then. So I'm going to come in. Let's have a look. Let's put one in. I'm going to come up the middle with a line. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and then from here, I'm going to create a curve that's going to join the top there. And then it's going to come down here and join there. It doesn't matter if they have a different angle, it's absolutely fine. Just uh, see, you know, you see what you're, you're coming in with. I think actually I, I might possibly need a bit of a brush pen here. Just, uh, I think I'm going to fill some of these shapes in. There we go. See, I'm not going all the way to the bottom, I'm going to leave that one. So it's sort of uh, open there. And if I turn it round, I'm going to do something similar this side. So I'm following that line as a bit of a guide. And you can see that they sort of all flow in a similar direction. There you go. We've got that kind of a shape. So I'm going to bring my brush in, and I'm going to start. Let's, uh, I'm going to start with the top one here. I'm going to fill this bit in. 
You don't have to, you could do this with a different colour if you want to. But uh, I'm going to stick with the black for now. If you want to colour it something different, that's fine. There we go. So that brush really does sort of uh, speed things up a little bit. We don't want to spend the whole hour filling these in, do we? There we go. So I've just missed a little bit there, see? Okay, next here. Oh, thank you, Wendy. We are working to get packages out as quick as we possibly can. I know Leslie did work on shop orders yesterday. There we are. I'm going to go both sides. I've got this sort of striped effect. There we go. Alright, let's have a look at that. Okay, so I'm just going to put my uh, brush to one side and I'm coming back in with my regular pen here. Uh, let's have a look. I'm going to come in with another curve, but this time let's have a look. I'm going to bring one out sort of here. And again, you can decide where you want to do these. I'm going to have it coming out from this and around here. And then back in just until it sort of forms its natural join. Okay. And then I'm going to bring another one out from here. So I'm not going to join it, I'm going to sort of have a bit of a gap there. And another curl. So I'm not going too small with these curls today. Oh, got on the end. And again, back around until it joins its natural kind of phase there. So, put this line at the centre. I'm not going to go too close to the edge, I want a little bit of a gap there. And then down here and down here. So I've got that kind of kite shape and stripes. Now you can come straight in with a brush pen with this if you want to but there's something about drawing the, the lines in first I think gives you a little bit of control so you know really where you're headed with it. So there we are just coming in again and again you can swap it if you want you could leave the top without any black ink and fill in the next one down. Really doesn't matter. You just want this little bit of a stripe. Just works great for shading in a short while. So there we go. Quite a dramatic piece, isn't it? When you put a lot of black in, ink into a tile. There we go. All right. So far so good. All right, back to regular pen. Let's have a look. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bring another one out because I've got quite a large bit here from from sort of here. So I'm gonna sort of follow the same. I say follow the same line, but I'm gonna not touch it. So it's gonna be quite close. There you go. But it's sort of coming in the same area. So I'm just gonna finish it off with a couple of dots there. And then back around and keep it going till it sort of reaches its natural joining point. And then just have that line back up the middle and then join it first to one and then to the other. And then along we go. And same with this one. Just sort of follow the guide, this line here, just to help you out so you get a similar kind of shape. Then uh, I'm going to come in and fill it again with my brush. And uh, go 
of it. I know some people don't like the brushes, so you prefer to use an 08 pen. Uh, you can actually get some thicker now, you can get 10s and 12s. But it's whatever works for you, it's fine. If you don't want to shade it or stripe it at all, it's fine too. It's whatever you want to do with it. Okay. Now you see here I've got a little bit of a bump on there, let's have a look at that. Alright, I'm just going to neaten it off, because we've filled it in, we can go with that, that's fine, there you go, much better isn't it? Oh, oh Jackie, give it a go, even if you don't perhaps use it on a tile, just have a play with it and see where it sort of leads you. But they're, they're nice for filling things in, they're, they're pretty quick, and they, they've got a really nice fine point, so there we go. Okay, so you see here I've got another sort of curl that will benefit from another line around. So again, nice, confident, and then back around till it reaches its natural. It's one of the dots, look. There you are. And then this time, do I, it's your choice. Do I want to go behind or do I want to sort of leave it there? I'm going to leave it there quite close. And this time, let's do the stripes going this way first. And then the stripes going this way. Okay. Let's come back in. Fill those in. And it's, I like doing all one side, then the other. And you get any little mishaps you can come around and fill in and clean them up with your regular pen in a, in a little while so i see here i've got ones there you go just sort of put that to a point there okay so far so good so we've got a couple of things sort of going on haven't we now we could take more of these off so let's for example we've got one here let's do a small one and around i have joined that one but it's quite small so that's okay and then back in it with a little shape and then first straps one way join them up and then it's the next i'll come and fill that one in in a minute so we, we could put one there, but see there's not much space there. Or uh, maybe one here. Just a little one. There you go. And then a line. And of course, let's take lines first one side, then the other. And then Mac's going to give me just another one here, I think. Now you need to look at your tile at this point and think how many do you want to put in? Have you got enough space? Is it going to work there? You know, you can pick and choose. Okay, we've got a lovely little heart shape in the middle there, haven't we? So let's bring in that brush. Okay. And just as before, I'm going to, there you go, fill these little sections in just uh, taking my time with it just want to get those points right if i can same on this one there we go see just sort of uh, filling it in as we go the last one down here now you might find you if you've drawn these quite small you can get a few more in if you want to do even more and go even smaller, you can do that. So back to pen. And I'm just going to neaten that little bit up there. There you go. See, you see here, you just come on in and shape it a little bit if you need to. 
quite nice, isn't it, to have the same sort of... I know black ink should be all black, but you get different variations of black, so it's nice to have something that's the same. So there we go. So quite nice. So this one does look lovely, doesn't it, there? The original I didn't have that one, but that's absolutely fine. So I want to add a few bits and pieces in now. So I'm going to go a little bit bigger. And first thing I want to do is on these little curves here, I'm going to come in and I want to create a ball here. There we go. And then let's fill in with some more. See, they're going to get a little bit smaller as I work my way around. There we are. Don't want to go all the way to the bottom. Just sort of getting them smaller. And fill this one in. Oh, hi, Pat. I know. I do like the tiles to be different. So I know we all have different tastes, so it's, uh, it's tricky. You don't want to do completely the same every time. I think sometimes it's nice, isn't it, to try different things. You might not think, oh, I don't really like this tile, but I think you can learn something from doing all of them. So even if you do it and don't do it again, hopefully you, you get something from it. So I'm just coming back in, look at filling those little gaps in there. There's a little bit there as well. Look. And then I'm going to do the same in each one of these shapes. Now you see here, I'm going to, I am going back in and adding one or two in there as well. And then back in. Hello, Margarita. You see, each one is getting smaller and smaller. We just sort of don't want to go all the way to the bottom, but we want to sort of have it coming to a natural end in that little row there. And any little gaps we're going to fill in. Let's see the missed one. So let's uh, do these ones here. So again, I'm going to fill that in. We're not going to really get many there, so I'm not going to try and make them smaller. I'm just going to fill it in as I go. And see how it just sort of gets smaller and smaller. I'm going to put one in there and then fill the rest. There you go. So, a couple more. So again, create that bubble on the edge and then fill in. Getting smaller and smaller with each little dot. And in we go. Filling in the space. Let's uh, put one in here. Oh, Wendy, I know what you mean, but don't you think it's nice to have a mixture of stencils and tiles? Because that way you can mix and match. So you could actually use one of the stencils and you could apply this tile into what you're doing. So you don't have to follow the stencils exactly. But you could actually merge the two together. So this could be quite a nice little flourish, couldn't it? You could do it smaller to accommodate whatever you're working on. Okay, so we've got those little bubbles all in there now. So let's bring on the next little bit. Because I'm going to create some little lines. Here we go. So I'm going to come up in this space here. Let's do another quite close together and then I'm going to do sort of like a, a little teardrop on the top there it's nice and then I'm going to have little teardrops either side but see coming back to the point and then another one and I'm going to have a little sort of line coming up at the bottom with a little dot on. Let's put a couple of flicks in there. Okay. So 
So let's do another one of these. I'm going to come up here and back down really narrow. And then let's put that little teardrop on the top. I'll put my flicks in there. And then one, two that side, and two this side. Now it depends on how thick or wide your little petals are there as to how many you put. If they're quite narrow, you might want to add an extra one. If not, you might want to go, you know, and add just one or see how that goes for you. I'm going to put one sort of down here. And then see that little teardrop. And then one, two that side, two that side. Let's put one flick in. And then a couple of little marks there. Okay, let's go out a little bit. Oh, you see, I just noticed it's the beauty of having the on large screen. You can see where you've got bits that you've missed. <laughs> okay, so let's bring a few more of these in. I'm going to come here. Oh, this one's an obvious, I think. It's going to sit there. And then same sort of process. Petals first and the little droplets there. And then let's have a look and see where we've got the curls starting. They sort of work really nicely coming from those points. So if you're not sure where to sort of bring one from, have a look at where the bottom of your curls are. Fill them in there. Let's have another one coming out this way. Let's see. And then uh, into this one here. And then little bits, little blitz. You see you've got a little cluster there. And then now looking sort of here. We could go this way. I might, I might go this way. See what it looks like. A little teardrop, a couple of lines both ways. I'm going to go over those dots because it's fine. It's in the front. There's Leslie with the tea. Good afternoon, guys. It's finding a space on the desk, I, I think. <laughs> the only space. He's trying to, trying to find a space anywhere at the moment. <laughs> I know. We're getting there. We've got a lot of parcels out this morning, so we've yeah. got. We can see the floor again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I bring one up, up and round here. Let's see how that goes. That's nice. Keep it thin. Remember that stem. Add in that little teardrop. A couple of flicks, and then around with those little petal shapes. Okay, I'm going to just shape that while I'm there. That's nice. So, a couple of little leaves, I think. I'm going to come up in here. Let's go a bit bigger so you can see it. Oh, Bonnie, I will pass on your hellos because she's drafted off downstairs. She is watching on the, the live, but I don't know if she will caught that. Okay. So, I'm going to do this quite close. Look, put a line in. Quite close and aligned, so maybe I'm gonna yeah, get another one in there. And then another here. Don't know if you all uh, watched Hobby Maker last week, because Leslie actually did go on and do a couple of demos. You will recognise this, she's got pink hair. I'm going to do one here as well. So first on the top and then the side. Alright, a few more sort of, having a look at where your flowers are, you just need a, one or two like shapes. You don't need a lot, just sort of give it the impression that it's sort of part of the same thing there. And then there. 
Let's have another one here. See, keeping those leaves quite close. Let's have a look at this. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, so far so good. I think I'm going to just add um, a couple of little bubbles around here. So quite loosely. There we go. Just sort of giving it a bit of a a feature there and again I'm just gonna bring some little bubbles in around this bottom section just to give it a little bit of grounding in there any little gaps fill in as you go see how it just sort of works its way out there we go and come in a room I'm gonna put a board around because sometimes it's nice to have that that feature but I'm not going to do it with a straight edge, I'm going to do it freehand, which means it might be slightly wobbly, but that actually gives it a little bit of character. There you go. So, just a, there we go. So I'm going to sort of stop there and pick it up again over here and around. Smuffy, I hope you get well soon. I didn't know you were in hospital. You're okay. That's, oh, look what I've missed there. Mr. Bubble. Do that before I finish the border. Again, just fill in those gaps. That was a close one. There you are. Right, let's have a look at that. Okay, so I think we uh, we need to have a little bit of shading on that. I think I'm going to bring some colour in as well, but um, pencil first, uh, I think. Pencil and torty on, of course. Quick sip of tea because Leslie's made it me. And there we go. So here we go. Pencil. I'm going to work on these shapes here. Let's go a little bit larger. So the first thing I'm going to do is down the centre. And you can go over the black, or if you don't want to, see I'm going over there, it looks a little bit silvery. You can ignore that, so you could just do this bit if you want. But I think once I'm doing it, I'm, I'm going to go over the whole thing. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I know, a bit strange, because you think, well, why don't you put some down the middle? But I think the process of putting it on to both sides means that you're going to remember you need to shade both sides and then I'm going to come in on the edge there as well maybe I'll fill that in a bit and the same on this one into that there okay so I'm going to do that on all of them I'm going to do all the pencil first and then I'll use the tortillon afterwards and in we go so again sort of both sides and then the center and along the edge there don't worry about whether your pencil's neat or not it, it really doesn't matter it's just that we want some on there so, so let's do that okay I want this little one here working on both sides same with this one Move into this one. See how we sort of get into the rhythm. Start to sort of spot and you know where you're going to put your little bits of shading. We don't have to look up where the light source is or anything like that. You just sort of adding some pencil in there. It's kind of nice not to have to worry about it, honestly because it's quite random anyway your eye's not going to sort of think it looks wrong in any way it's just going to go with it and say okay so Maxine honestly if you 
follow me through the videos and see where the shading's gone. I think it's just having a little bit of confidence to put some pencil on. That's it. That'll, that'll give you a, a bit of a heads up. So see here, I'm going to do top and bottom. There we are. And see these little, little bubbles? I'm not going to do them because I think I'm going to come in with um, coloured pencil to do those. So let's sort of work it systematically. Do these first. And if you're not sure with your shading as well, you could always come in with a little bit of pencil and then add to it so you can build your shading. And of course it's easier to remove if you've put a light coating on. But don't be afraid to get some graphite on there. It'll look really it'll look really good if you if you can do that. It's the same as well. You might decide that you want to colour your flowers in rather than these little bubbles. Entirely up to you. You can shade these. If you want to shade these, you're going to put a little bit of pencil there to shade them. Okay. So that's um, really nice, but because I'm going to come in with pencil, I'm not going to do that. Or you could actually do that. Let's do it, actually. Let's do it. And then bring pencil in over the top. And some of these larger ones I'm going to do as well. And of course, when you get quite small, we can't really fit that in. So I'm not going to worry about that. There you are. Same there. See, it's all like little smirks. Some of the smaller ones you can't get to them, so not to worry. Okay, so just a little bit on the flowers then. Just gonna do the middle there. Again, you could do the top and bottom if you wanted. I just want to swap it out a bit. Just do the middle. A bit on the bottom of the leaves. Again, they're quite small, so you're not gonna see much there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to come back and do the border in a short while. Don't worry about that just yet. Okay, tortillon then, here we go. Now I think the first thing is let's work on these stripy shapes. So starting first on one side, even over the black, I'm going to very gently soften that pencil all the way down. There we go. The same on the other side here. Sort of uh, just breaking it up and then softening that on. I don't want to go all the way into the middle as we know. That's where we're going to put the highlight. Same on the other side. Just sort of bringing it down, blending it out. See that one either is a little bit more. There you go. Same on this side. See, we just want it to sort of move just a little bit. There you are. Not too much pressure. I'm going to do the same on all of those first. I think we'll build it up as we go. on this side and again you're going to get a slightly sort of silvery sort of effect over your black but and you're not messing about with which bits to shade not because you're going over all of it it just gives it a uniform finish and same with this one here see that doesn't need so much because it's quite small so a little bit this one's even smaller. Okay. To this one. Something about this, isn't it? You've done your drawing and now it's all about enhancing it and uh, bringing it to life. And you, you think it's, this is just a bit of paper. 
It's wonderful to see. Yeah, and look at that silver on the black there. I oh, know, Christine, it's lovely, isn't it? I do like that bit. Let's have a look. This one here. I know not everybody does, but that's fine. Okay, so we've got these curves. So as before, I'm not going to go right in the middle there, or right in the end. I'm going to come and soften the edge off where the pencil meets the tile, the paper. I'll try and leave a gap if I can. And then my little bubble here. Let's just create a few little swirls there. Just round it off. See? Same with these. They're very, very small, so they're not going to need much. But again, the idea is that you're going to leave a little bit of the original tile colour underneath. And my flowers, just a very gentle touch there. Same with the leaves. We're just softening it off enough and leaving the tips there. Okay, see I haven't put any shade in there, but you can bring your torch on in. There's enough probably on there that you can add a little bit. Into this one. So I'm sort of working my way around now, and I need these little bits filling in as I go. And, uh, see, I've missed a little bit off those as well, but that's fine. I can bring that back in. You can always go in and add a bit if you want to. There you are. softening each bit up as I go round. Of course, you can, your sort of bubbles, make sure that you're going around in a curvy shape. You, you don't want to lose that effect of it being a, a bubble. There you go. Again, just touching those around the edge. There we go. It's, it's amazing, isn't it, how the shading could change completely flat sort of drawing into something that looks like it's coming off the page. And that, just with this little bit of paper, it's wonderful, isn't it? Almost there now with these. Into this bit. So that's sort of stage one done. Let's have a quick look at this now. All right, so we've got these little highlights. We've got things going on. What I want to do, I'm going to bring in my white chalky pencil, which is this one. I always use the chalky one because what we want to do is go across all of it. You see, I've gone across the black and the tile. I'm not going to blend this. I'm just going to bring in a couple of little highlights there. So I'm enhancing what we've already left. Just making a real big thing of it. Okay. Um, again, following sort of the angle going to that point. Look at the difference that's made, it's crazy. Okay. So it doesn't have to be blended, anything like that. We just want to get some of the white on there. We want that highlight sticking out so it's a bit noticeable. Okay. And I'm going to come back in with my pen and just run it back along this outside edge and up the middle. And again along this outside edge. So let's find this one, see, middle. And then I'm just taking it up to where the stripe sort of stops there. I'm not gonna completely redraw the whole thing. I just wanna bring them back out. There you go, just sort of 
following around that stripe there. We're just sort of giving it another redefinition, just in the places that we want to. Because a lot of graphite sort of uh, worked its way around those stripes. We want to just bring them back. Okay. All right, so next little bit. Again, I'm going to bring the white pencil back in a minute, but we did talk about having a bit of colour. So I'm going to bring in um, a little bit of red. I've got like a dark red here. There we go. And on my little... Watch, I'm going to use my, some of my flowers. See where we've sort of left a little bit. I'm going to come in and just add a touch of red to the edges. Nothing much, just a little bit. Yeah. I'm not going to try and blend it in or anything. I'm just going to add a touch in. That's kind of nice. So you could go over the the grey scale, but I wanted to have something a little bit different. That's it, just over the top there. And there, I'm going to find all my flowers and do this too. sort of uh, helps them stand out. Now, he was me thinking I was going to colour my bubbles in and now they are shaded and I'm colouring flowers in. But again, you can choose to add colour or not or you can add colour where you want to do it. You don't have to do the same as me. There we are. Let's have a look at that. Just that little touch of colour. It's lovely, isn't it? I am going to come in and do these little bubbles here. It, it's a very fine line now as to what colour you add and how much of it you add. So I'm going to stick with the reddish and I'm going to come in with a bit of pink. So what I'm going to do is just ever so gently go over some of the pencil shade. So I'm not giving it too much colour, just warming it up a little bit. See, so you don't have to worry about shading or anything with this because we've already done the shading. We're just going over the top of that, adding that touch in there. And of course, any of these sort of larger bubbles, see, so just some of these here, just come in and add a little bit as well. So, because it's already been shaded, you don't really have to worry about whether it's going to blend or not. You've already sort of done that kind of work. Let's have a look at that. Okay, that's quite nice, isn't it? It's nice and subtle. I didn't sort of want to overdo it. I think uh, I'm going to bring a bit of shade in now with my pencil again so i'm going to just i've chose to shade on the inside of this border but you can do it on the outside if you like so anywhere now that i can see that border i'm going to add some pencil see sort of under there and the same here there we go with the tortillon. Just going to sort of soften it off. Now I'm not going to put it over the flowers, I'm going to let them sit out. See here, I'm going to put a little round the leaves there. And just sort of work it up and fade it to nothing. There we are. So just sort of Underneath the flowers there, I'm not going to touch the little bit of colour that I've got in there. Just sort of soften it off. Quite a stretch here. See, I've, I've switched to swirls. I'm just going to help remove that line a little bit. Uh, oh, Viv, this is one of the light brown tiles out of the earth pack. So, it's 
it's quite it's a beautiful pack of uh, this got some beautiful colours in. I don't think there's one colour in there that I, I wouldn't use. <laughs> I might have had the same with all my tiles, I suppose. But you know, sometimes you, there's certain colours you, you find yourself drawn to. And well, this pack's it's just really beautiful. There we go. Let's have a look at that. It's maybe a touch just sort of wrap. So I'm going to come back in with my white pencil. Sort of on these little bubbles. Just want to add a little bit of a highlight. Again, even if you're using a, a cream tile, the regular, you still want to come in and put a highlight in, I think. Still going to enhance it that little bit. Look at the difference that's made. So I did have, well, I do have my gel pens as well. I'm going to come in, I've got this sort of uh, like a rosy colour. And I'm going to fill in some of these and add a few more. Not too many little dots. Sort of wandering around. See these dots here at the ends. Any more? Maybe one there. So sort of. a couple around there. See, it's very subtle. Um, these gel pens. I think perhaps we just sort of introduced the earth tiles when we added these in because they, they go work together so well. So let's have a look at that. You see with that little bit of pink sort of shone in there. Oh, it's just lovely, isn't it? So, very unusual tile, very different, but as they all are, it's nice to sort of uh, explore a little bit, isn't it? And see where you, you head with these. So, I'm just going to put my initials there. There we go. And there is our tile for the day. So, let's see how you get on with it. I mean, I have got the earth tiles here, so let's have a look. It's, that's the lighter brown, so we've got a rust, it's lovely isn't it? And then you've got um, a slightly darker brown, then you've got an even darker, this one's called bitter chocolate. And then of course that's slightly darker as well, there we go. So then you've got that one, and it's six colours in total, and you've got like a, it's a very hint of pink, very sort of a warm cream that one. So. There we go, that's one out of there. So as I say, have a bit of fun with it and we'll see how you get on and post them, let's see. And all being well, I will see you back here as usual on Friday at two o'clock. So have fun with it, everybody. Take care, see you soon. Okay, bye.